Hey you guys, I hope everyone is doing well. I know that in one of my last videos we talked about me doing a different video and I do apologize y'all but this topic has been in my brain for a couple of weeks now and since it's been front page news again, I just had to talk about it. It's so much salaciousness that has went on in the U.S this past year it is crazy and it looks like 2018 is going to keep on giving so if you just took a look at the internet for a couple of seconds and you just like squinted at the internet like all you had to do was just squint at it a little bit and you will see the ruckus that's going on you feel me from jay-z finally admitting that solange beat his ass in that elevator because he was cheating on b now he didn't admit that was the reason, but we all know that was the reason. <laughs> so from Jay-Z cheating, from Kevin Hart's sex tapes or his cheating tape, cause you ain't really seen nothing, but you can see it was him. So from Kevin Hart little tape coming out exposing him as a cheater, um, Scott Dusick, is that how y'all pronounce it? Yeah, him. He running around here with um, Sophia Richie, which is Nicole Richie, little sister. And then Paul Usher, well, Rich Usher, he still ain't came out and said whether well, or not he had herpes. I can't listen to Let It Burn anymore. Like, I can't. I know that that's crazy, but I, I just can't listen to that song anymore. That's one of my favorite songs. Who didn't like that song? I just can't even listen to it no more. Every time I listen to that song, I think about him and his issues. And I guess Waka Flocka then finally decided he wanted to be faithful. And out of all of these, you guys, one of my top disappointments, and he's not really a celebrity necessarily, I guess they kind of put him there, is that guy Jeremy Meeks that, um, was he, you know, his mugshot went like viral. And then he left his wife for that billionaire heiress or millionaire heiress, however much money she got. Um, he left his wife for her like that was so disappointing to me because y'all know she held him down for years bailing him in, out of jail only to be left as soon as he get a come up like <laughs> that one woo, that one right there woo, that one was such a disappointment you never ever ever turn your back on the people that's always had your back you just don't do that woo. So those are just some of the relationship scandals that happened in 2017 that seems like some of them are, are moving into 2018 with us. But this Cardi B and Offset situation is really what um, triggered this video. So just in case you aren't aware, several different videotapes have been released showing Offset has been cheating on Cardi B. even. After, y'all yeah, remember she was on stage and she was like, if he cheat again, he gonna lose his wife and all of that. I let a nigga know though, you do that shit again, you gonna lose your wife. Another tape came out. It looks like a completely different woman came out um, that he was cheating on her. He was still cheating on her. So a lot of people was coming for Cardi online and this was her response to one of her followers. I'm going to put it up, but I, I got to read it. You feel me? I got to read this. I'm going to just say the letter of curse words, stuff like that, because YouTube, they, they be on some other stuff. Like they will flag you, delete your video for the smallest little stuff. But anyway, um, um, she said, well, if people are talking about it and keep asking me how I feel about the situation, why not let them know right or wrong? No, it's not right for a ninja to cheat, but what we want to, but what do you want me to do? Go F another ninja, start all over and get cheated on again? This happens to everyone, and I bet, I think she meant bet, I bet to you too. People handle their relationships different, so... Okay, so me reading that, um, that post from her, it just came off to me as insecure, and the Cardi before the fame. 
that's how it came off to me. And this is the same person that said, I'm quick to cut a dude off so don't get comfortable. I am not one to ever encourage anyone to leave their mate, of course, unless their life is in danger. Um, you know, when someone comes to you with an open heart and they tell you what's going on in their life and they get, you should leave him. He ain't nothing. All he gonna do is continue to cheat over and over. You know, that can put you in a bad headspace and even resenting that person and never wanting to talk to them again. So I've been cheated on and I didn't leave. Cardi B been cheated on and she didn't leave. Beyonce has been cheated on and she didn't leave. Um, so that leaves me to wonder why now we've heard so many times the reason people stay in relationships is because of money or it's because of kids well um beyonce had money and they didn't have kids when he was cheating from you know the music or whatever from what i understand and of course cardi b doesn't have kids she's financially stable she's good she's gonna be good with or without offset so why did they stay? Why did I stay? He wasn't paying my bills. I was good. You know what I'm saying? All he brought to the table was himself. <laughs> you know, himself. Nothing nothing else. Financially, we didn't have kids. Y'all know I don't have kids. So why did I stay? So I think it's really simple why some of us stay. And it has nothing to do with kids or money or anything like that. It's because we're in love it really is that simple and being in love and when you think you're in love and when you think that this is the person that you're supposed to spend the rest of your life with sometimes you can't see past that that pillow talking is a mug you hear me and your dude or your woman can cheat but when you get behind closed doors and they get to talking and whispering sweet nothings in your ear and telling you everything you want to hear and, and just making you have all the feelings that you want to feel, it's like, every, what, what did they do again? It's like you forget. Because we all know that if Cardi B was single, she would have men wrapped around the building. If B left J, she would have men wrapped around the building two times over. Okay? If I was single, I have one or two dudes at the door. <laughs> so with all of that being said, this is the part that's really heavy on my mind. I, as a woman... Is it not my responsibility to protect your heart as a woman? Or, you know, if you're a guy, if I was a guy, <laughs> is it not my responsibility to protect you? Or is it okay that I help hurt you? Most women, we've been hurt. We know how, how we know how it feels. A heartbreak is like nothing else you could ever experience it is uh it's like it's undescribable considering that most of us have been there before we know how it feel how could you how dare you do that to another woman how dare you now I've heard in some of the press conferences and things like that, some of the women say they didn't know that some of these guys were married. Some, most people online was like, I don't believe that they're famous. They're... Now that is believable to a point because I didn't know that Usher was married. I thought that after Tamika, they, he was just doing his thing, doing his music. He had dropped off the scene a little bit. So when this all had came out and I found out he was married, I was like, whoa. But see, this is the thing. If Usher approached me, he's a celebrity. So if he approached me and I got a date plan for, oh man, man I was going to go out on a date. Before that date, I'm Googling you. Like I'm Googling. I want to know everything that I can know about you on Google. And you can see that he's married on Google. So for so that's the part about, you know, that situation that leaves me like, mm, you didn't know he was married. Maybe they didn't go to their Instagram or their Twitter and see all the pictures of their family and all this other stuff. Maybe they didn't. If they didn't, okay, 
cool. But I believe that they knew that they were married and they did not care. Do y'all recall the whole Tristan Thompson um, situation where he left his girlfriend, pregnant girlfriend, for Khloe Kardashian? So does Khloe not hold some responsibility for that woman's heart? For her broken heart at all? I understand that she was in a relationship with um, Tristan, but does Chloe not hold some responsibility? Me being a woman, if I know that a man is in a relationship, my sentence is always, you're in a relationship. When you end that relationship, hit me up. That is always my response. So I am on the team that if someone approaches you and you know that they're in a relationship, but you pursue it anyway, you have some responsibility to their mate as well. Yeah, you're not in a relationship with their mate, so you don't have equal responsibility, but you do have some responsibility in that particular situation. When I was cheated on previously, um, I stayed in the situation. Immediately, I can tell that he lost respect for me. He didn't respect me the same. He didn't talk to me the same. So many things had changed and he did it again. And that's kind of how that worked. I just felt like once he cheated on me, he didn't really have respect for me like he did. There was no re real repercussions in his actions. So he continued to do what he did. So when I got cheated on and everything came out, y'all, it was so crazy. Like, y'all know those memes where, you know, you have a guy and you have two or three girls where they're sister wives and they're living happily ever after and all that. That's just real. And people are really living that life. That life is not for me. But this girl, once I found out about it, she wanted to be my sister wife. She's like, I just want to be your friend. I just want this. No. Who does? How dare you? How dare you? So when I used to see those memes, I used to be like, ain't nobody living like that. Like, who doing that? You know, who doing that besides, like, the people that's on TV? So when it was presented to me, I was like... And then on top of that, she wasn't even cute. This whole topic about relationships and all the things that's going on in the um, music industry and in Hollywood, it's just crazy. And it just leaves me with so many questions about people and about relationships. So many unanswered questions. But I love, I would love to know what you guys think about this. Do you guys think that Offset is going to continue to cheat on her? Do you guys think that once you get cheated on, your guy loses respect for you if there's no repercussions? Do you guys think that once a cheater is always a cheater? What about the reason that people stay in relationships? I know that every situation is different but do y'all think that most of the time it's about money financial um the kids or do y'all think it is just as simple as just being in love we can't see past the love that we have for that person i would love to know what you guys think about this topic leave it below thank you guys so very much for stopping by and chatting with me on this topic don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't i love you guys and i will see y'all soon